right, so today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows 10 audio issue. Now this um, tutorial um, mainly focuses on the May 2019 slash 1903 build updates of Windows 10. So if you're running like an older version or a different version, then this tutorial may not work quite so well. But um, this is um, so this is what this will fix. <clears throat> it will fix um, um, basically no audio, crackling or clicky audio. Your Bluetooth headset is not connecting or it's taking ages to connect. Or your volume bars are freezing or they're showing us they're not frozen, they're moving up and down, but you still don't hear any sound. So, yeah, let's get started. So, if we play this, you might not be able to hear anything at all. And if we go into sound settings, look in sound settings here, you can see that there's absolutely nothing coming up. Well, there you go, but it came up for a second now. Volume bar is frozen, you heard it for a second. Go to the sound control panel, click your audio device, click enhancements. Click the enhancements, you can get in this weird clicking that sometimes goes in and out. If you do this, it will reload the audio. If you, ch if you change it, you uncheck it or we check it, then the audio is um, reloaded and you're to hear it again for a second. So you might be able to hear it for a second if I apply. It goes off. I'm going to come back on, then check it again. I'm going to hear it for a second. There, just hear just hear just a slight um bit of audio there. So what you want to do to fix this is actually um quite simple, surprisingly, um at least in my case. So you close these down. And what you want to do is you open you want to open the start menu or run by pressing Windows key and R and then type in app with dot cpl and then hit enter and then you get this uninstall sort of screen you want to do it on, it's click on the left click, click turn windows features on or off and then what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom sorry my scroll is a bit dodgy and then uncheck windows sandbox and then click ok now you have to wait for it to um, apply the changes to your computer When it's done, click restart now. Now you have to wait for your computer to restart, so give it a minute or so. Restart. Now I say like getting Windows updates ready, or well, sometimes it says working on features like it does here, but sometimes I say getting Windows updates, it's, they're both the same thing. I don't know why sometimes it says getting Windows updates, it's not actually an update, it's just a feature that you're changing, so I don't know why it does that. So you sign back into your computer, like your username and your password, or mostly just password in the case, because you set in a slightly different manner to most computers. So it's sound in. There we go. Near the sound is working, but. What commonly can happen is you sat, your sound may still go after a few minutes of using the computer or may still be completely broken or cutting off or whatever. So what you want to do to go to fix that is you want to do the same thing again. Go back to the app res dot cpl. But this time you want to go to search bar and just type the word audio. If nothing comes up type sound or driver or something like that. And you want to delete your um, audio drive or your sound drive, in this case it's real tech, so I'm going to right click and uninstall and click yes to uninstall it. And then you'll need to um, note this down, what what yours is, so mine's real tech. Um, so that's the, that's the one I need to re-download, so you've got, you got re-download it afterwards, after you've deleted it, of course. And this is to fix every last issue that you're having when it's reinstalled, of course. So when you uninstall, you probably have like no audio at all if you don't already have no audio. I'm going to go to my downloads, and then my um, thing here is um, my um, this is my real tech tool, real tech tool. So go back to uninstall. And yeah, 
I think it's still really already going to get funny how it uninstalls hopefully and then reinstalls and then it should be fixed after that. But actually it still doesn't work, there's one more last step that you probably have to do in order to get it fully working and then afterwards it should be fixed completely and then you have your sound back to normal after that. So there it's deleted, we start to see it later. Well, they might have to restart it to reinstall it. Just check. I'll try and install it. Then put on this package. Sometimes you might be able to get away if you uninstall it and then try um, changing your device now if it's uninstalled it and you might be able to get away with it because there are Microsoft drivers that normally come with. Windows that it will use if you delete your driver off. Anyway, I'm going to reinstall it though because um, it will work better almost certainly if you have your older driver back to install correctly. So I'm going to put it back on here now. Installing. There we go. There we go, and now we start to do it later. Click finish. And now all you got to do is um, you got to try and play audio and see if it works. It might not work. So you can see there's no audio. To fix that, right click your audio again, go back to open sound settings, and this will probably be set wrong, so you want to set this to the correct run, or change it to whatever and change it back, and hopefully the sound will work again. So. It doesn't seem to be, but I may have to restart sometimes. Try this. There's no go. So you want to restart now. Restart it. And last time, after you've done all that, and afterwards it should work. So I'm go back into it now, and then click on something, and then the sound should play. 
not playing any more works of copyright music, but there you go, and then your sound, sound is fixed now, so. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're having any issues or other concerns or comments, leave them down below in the comment box below. And that's pretty much all I have for this video, so thank you. Bye!